Hoopers, this is Jillery Hoops, and I'm going to teach you the ISO pop. A lot of people don't really know what this trick looks like because the linear isolation is so often called an ISO pop that they don't understand it. So the idea with an ISO pop is that you're doing an isolation, then you're going to pop the hoop out of isolation the opposite direction from what you were just doing. So if I'm isolating counterclockwise from my perspective, I will then drop the hoop for a clockwise rotation and go back into counterclockwise. Conversely, if I'm doing an isolation that's clockwise, I will drop the hoop in a counterclockwise motion and then continue with my clockwise isolation. You can do that with the other hand too. It's anytime you're doing an isolation, you stop at the bottom you pop the hoop out and then you can continue with the isolation. So I hope that uh, that helps everybody. Um, it's a pretty easy move. If you can do an isolation, you can do an iso pop. You just have to get the bottom of your isolation, pop that hoop down out of the isolation and back in. There are a lot of variations. You can start your isolation counterclockwise, iso pop, and then go clockwise. That's a nice little variation. So clockwise with my left hand, iso pop out of that direction, and then I can go the opposite direction. So let's see, what else can you do with an iso pop? You could iso pop up top as well, or on the side. It's much easier when you can use your hand to sort of throw the hoop and stay back in isolation. So that pop can happen anywhere that you want it to, but you have to kind of, I find it's easier to push with my right hand to pop my hoop anywhere up, left, or down than it is to pop it out to the right anywhere. It is possible though. So if you're isolating and I want to do a pop at the top and right back to isolation, there you go. So iso pop is isolation, pop out of isolation and back in. Linear isolation is rolling it across a plane, whether that's a horizontal plane or a vertical plane. So those are linear isolations versus iso pops. All right. Happy hooping and enjoy those iso pops. They're fun.